Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Earth Science screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And when we last left off, we were looking at correlating rock layers, basically looking at rock types, uh, composition, texture from one area to another to kind of get the sequence of events. We also looked at index fossils within those rock layers to help us age them or date them and correlate those rock layers better. A little bit more into that is called the chronology of rock layers. Or basically, we had a very uh, short example of that. When we put those le rock layers in order using the, the two different out outcrops with the index fossils in it. We're going to go a little bit more deeply into that with this screencast. The chronology of rock layers is much like counting tree rings. We know that the oldest tree ring is going to be right here in the center. And then basically, moving outwards gets the present. So this is oldest or in the past, getting to present. Rock layers are very similar to doing this. A few things we need to know is one, the principle of superposition. This basically tells us that the oldest rocks are going to be found on the bottom um, because that's where they were deposited first. And then as the youngest rocks, uh, as rocks keep piling up on top of those rocks, the younger ones are going to be up on top. And that's pretty much it. The principle of superposition oldest rocks on the bottom because that's where they deposited first. Pretty easy. And remember the principle of superposition, if we're talking about deposition of rocks, we're looking at layers of sedimentary rocks here. So oldest layer of silt would become siltstone. Same thing, siltstone right here, but notice this is all deposit depositing through or in water. Here, just looking at the oldest rocks, we can see a number of different rock layers. So when we're doing that rock correlation, we said color we could look at and we could see. We can basically break up. We know that there's a change in the uh, rates of erosion right here. So you have another layer, different colors. And we could see that the oldest, according to our principle of superposition, would be on the bottom, youngest up on top. Same thing, principle of superposition. And we can see here, oldest on the bottom, youngest on top, and that would be the same with this region of the Grand Canyon, oldest layers on the bottom, and then younger as we move up. Which layer was deposited first? So if we had to number these, we know that principle of superposition, oldest on the bottom, oldest right here, followed by this one. And that's it. Pretty easy for right now. We also have the principle of original horizontality. Basically, this says if this is sedimentary rock depositing in water, they're going to be in horizontal layers. That anything that changes these horizontal layers had to have come afterwards. So things that can change horizontal layers, tilting, folding, faulting, or contact metamorphism. So here we have a fault. So these layers had to be deposited first in order for that fault to occur. So the fault is younger than the deposited rocks. Sedimentary layers right here, the tilt had to come after the rock was formed. Okay, Intrusions are a little bit different. Intrusions are going to come up through the rock layers. So yes, the intrusion generally is younger than the rock that it intrudes upon. Uh, but what we need to look for is some contact metamorphism. So if we take a look at here, we could layer these. We know that. This is oldest, followed by two and three. These layers are going to go in order. They had to be there in order for this intrusion to come up. But then we need to look at the contact metamorphism. Remember that these lines are all contact metamorphism. We know that the intrusion came up through, and then the contact metamorphism all the way around would be five. Pretty easy. We can add a layer on top. So let's continue to number through. So, oldest, moving through, three. So typically, this would be four, but not here. Notice, no contact metamorphism on top. So that means we have to pull back a second. So let's get rid of that. This must be the oldest, contact metamorphism. Then, after the intrusion cooled, intrusion cooled, then layer six deposited. Okay, so we need to be careful where we see contact metamorphism not, just like with this next one. Notice we put the contact metamorphism in. 
So one, two, three. Now this is going to be four because of the contact metamorphism there. I Means the intrusion came up, came up, and then it hit this layer up on top. So now this is five, and here's six, that contact metamorphism. So just be careful when we see contact metamorphism, take a step back and look to see where it is and where it isn't so we can layer our rock layers. We're gonna take a break here uh, before we get into unconformities, and then we'll move a little bit forward into more of the dating or the chronologicing of um, rock layers. Hope you enjoyed this, take care.